Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at the Titleist Performance Institute today in Oceanside, California. Lucky enough to have Josh Talgy with us. We're talking irons, Josh. We talked about the new T-Series. Now we're going to talk about 620. MB, CB have been iconic franchise for you guys. We got a little bit of a name change, but I know there's a reason behind that. Yeah, it really, when you talk about MBs and CBs, and you talk about the brand like Titleist, there is this incredible lineage there. And, and in fact, the name change is 620 MB or 620 CB was inspired by that. Our 600 series was really when we were at kind of our peak of our powers of, of making incredible muscle backs and cavity backs for almost a, a decade. And so we wanted to kind of go back into that mold. And, and back then we used to say we were serious clubs for serious golfers. And these really are serious clubs for serious <laughs> golfers. You, you, need to, you need to bring your own you know, wizardry and, and technical uh, know-how to, uh, to make these really perform at their best. But again, for the player that wants to be a purist, that wants to have a pure one-piece, 1025 super soft feeling carbon steel product, we're going to make the best one we can. Um, it might not be the one that you or I, I play, <laughs> but, uh, but it, sure, um, it sure does hold up. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to sugarcoat it. These are for elite ball strikers, guys who really find the middle of the face pretty much all the time. But if you're that kind of player, these clubs are going to do anything you want. Absolutely. It, it, is, it is about precision when it comes to you know, a club like this. The ability to flight it, work it, do everything you want is, is very easy for the best ball strikers in the world. And we, we say it all the time, nothing feels better than a well-struck iron with an MB or, or a CB. Yeah. Now, but at the same time, that's not to say there hasn't been innovation. Correct. We continue to look at all of these products. So how do you make it better? How do you make you know, a, a classic blade the best it can be? And, and some of that starts with shape. And so one of the things we've done over time is really taken out quite a bit of offset out of this product. We continue to, if you can, thin a top line a little bit, change up the, the blade length. So we're now looking at progressive set designs in MBs and CBs as well. So the, the scoring irons get a little smaller and a little boxier, and as we get into the, the long irons, they get a little bit larger. Um, but I'm certainly not, I am not gonna profess that they are <laughs> easier to hit in a three iron. They're not m really much more forgiving, but they are a little bit, a little bit longer with a little bit more sole than, than there's been in the past. Uh, but we do want to make sure that, hey, if your player is going to play an MB or a CB, we're going to give you an absolutely great product. And I know a lot of work went into the profile and the shaping here to make it more seamless for players who maybe want to combo a set of these irons. Yes, we've matched up actually the look of both MB and CB from a top line perspective. Uh, the soles are very, very similar. So it's, it's very easy to blend those sets. If you want to go you need a little bit of help with some of the distance and, and um, forgiveness in your long irons and then you want to go back into your classic blade and your short irons it's simple to do yeah and some of the forgiveness in that CB the three and four iron you guys have incorporated some tungsten weight to just give it a little bit more forgiveness help get that ball in the air a little bit easier yes having tungsten out in the toe and the heel is is a way to make that product more stable uh, and more stability through the, the hitting zone makes it easier for your miss you know, to take that near miss and make it nearly perfect. Um, but we only have that in the three and the four because again, for this player, for the CB player, this is somebody who is an elite ball striker. They don't need that much help with a six iron or a seven iron, uh, but they do need it in, the, in that long iron. And I know as soon as these were available, guys out on tour were really excited and been really pleased with what they've seen so far. Our tour adoption for all of our new irons has been probably the best we've ever seen. Um, T100 uh, that we just talked about is, is our already our most played iron on the PGA Tour. And by the way, we are the number one iron on the PGA Tour. So that means more players are, are playing T100 than any other model out there. Um, and that only took, I think it took two weeks to get to that point. MB and CB, unbelievable reception. Um, guys love the fact that the shape's gotten just a little bit more MB, if you will. Um, we've even had a lot of comments about the fact that we've really cleaned up the design. The, the letters MB are not even on this product. You know, really our thinking there was, hey, if you don't know what an MB is, <laughs> it probably shouldn't be in your bag. Um, and they really, they've really responded to that. So it's been great to get the stories back from the guys that are really using the products, they're excited about them, and they feel it gives them a competitive advantage when they're out on the course. Yeah, and from a stock shaft standpoint, Project X, LZ and the CB, which is a little more mid-launch, and then the low-launching Project X and the MB. 
Yeah, a couple of powerhouse shafts, and the great part about them is not only do we make them stock in these products, but you can mix them in to any of our Titleist irons. So we've got guys who will take Project XLZ and put that in a, a T200 or even a T300. Josh, I tell you, I don't think I'm good enough, but they sure are pretty. They, they'll be good enough in our, uh, in our bags at the office. <laughs> That's right. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.